Hello everyone, my name is Alex, and today I will be going over how to use the Studio 1405 embroidering machine to make a custom patch. If you have not watched our introduction video of machine embroidery, please take a moment to watch it since I will be going over advanced information in this video. Now, let's begin. Here we have our embroidery machine already in the correct mode. Since we will be making a custom patch, I will be having it in two colors. One for the patch outline and one for the letters. Located here are the various shapes you can choose from. The shape I will be using will be located at the end. Since we are making a patch, the best shape to use would be a rectangle from our list of choices. Now we can choose the line design. I am not feeling too fancy today, so I will be going with the standard line design. But for yourself, feel free to choose any of these designs and experiment. With our choices made, we need to make some minor adjustments in this setting here. Here in the adjustment settings, you can modify your design to either increase or decrease the size, rotate it, and to see how big the object is going to be, this layout button will be extremely helpful to use. This layout button will be extremely helpful when we get to the letter stitching part. With our shape now sized to our personal preference, let's begin the embroidery. Make sure to have the correct thread loaded and the stabilizer attached to the fabric before hooping it and embroidering. With the shape of the patch done, we can get started on the lettering for the patch. Make sure to leave the hoop attached to the machine since we will need to verify that the letters will fit inside. Now, let's choose our lettering. Now, in order for this to fit correctly inside the patch, we will need to go into the adjustment settings to correct the lettering. As you can see here, the default for the embroidery is to be laid out horizontally. To fit in the patch, we would need to make it vertical. To do that, just click on the rotate icon and just rotate it 90 degrees either to the left or right. Now, we have to make sure that it will be fitting inside of the patch. This layout button here is extremely important. By clicking on it, you can get a rough estimate of the border of the text. You can experiment here to find the appropriate size for it to fit inside the patch. You can do that by clicking on the increase or decrease size function. I highly suggest that you do not have the lettering against the patch line. Unexpected errors may occur while doing that which could ruin your project, so make sure to give the letters enough breathing room when being embroidered. With everything set for the lettering, I will be changing out the thread for a different color and then we'll start the final embroidery part of this section. And here we have our very own studio patch that we have just created. If you would like to try creating your own, please feel free to call or email us to make an appointment. 
Thank you for watching today's video and have a nice day.